we're looking at here is a renal corpuscle and again the renal corpuscle consists of the glomerulus which is a ball of capillaries and the glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule. This structure right here is the afferent arteriole bringing blood into the glomerulus. This would be the efferent arteriole and you'll notice the efferent arteriole is smaller than the afferent arteriole and what this does is it causes blood to back up in this glomerulus and that will raise the pressure and it will force that fluid portion of the blood through the filtration membrane. The filtrate will collect here inside the glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule and then get directed to the proximal convoluted tubule which is right here. Now the filtration membrane is going to be made up of the fenestrated capillaries, the epithelium of the fenestrated capillaries, as well as the epithelium of this glomerular capsule. Now on the surface of the capillaries, these cells are modified. These cells are called podocytes and what they have are little pedicels, little feet. And those feet are going to interdigitate with one another and make filtration slits. So that's part of the filtration membrane as well as the little holes inside the fenestrated capillaries here. These podocytes make up the visceral layer of the glomerular capsule and these cells out here make up the parietal layer, parietal wall. Now the filtrate collects in this space right here and then gets directed to the proximal convoluted tubule. Here you can see the cells that make up the proximal convoluted tubule and you'll notice that on the surface of these cells there are many microvilli. They're small finger-like projections and what they're going to do is increase the surface area and what that does is it increases the ability for absorption. The proximal convoluted tubule is going to reabsorb much of the filtrate. These microvilli here are characteristic of the proximal convoluted tubule. Over here we can see these cells right here and these cells make up the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Okay, the juxtaglomerular apparatus is going to monitor blood pressure, it's going to monitor the contents of the tubular fluid inside the distal convoluted tubule and the juxtaglomerular apparatus can release some hormones. It can release renin and it can also release erythropoietin which will help increase the production of red blood cells. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.